<laughs> All right, so it's the 1960s and Beatlemania is taking over the world, right? And I mean, it's super hopping. In 1964, the Beatles arrived in America and they went on the Ed Sullivan Show. 73 million people viewed that show. We're talking about 1964 when the US population is 180 people. That gives it 40% of Americans, 40% of Americans watch that show. To put it into some other perspectives, it's kind of like when Donald Trump is going through the South, right? The Republicans love him and they idol him. They were idols of their time. They set records to the amount of people that attended their concert. They even had to take armored vehicles to their concerts to stay safe. Ridiculous. But with all successful bands, right, when you include their egos and drug use, there was a little bit of a feud between a couple members, and those couple members were Paul McCartney and John Lennon. On November 9th, 1966, while they were recording Sgt. Pepper's album, John and Paul, they started fighting. Paul then left the studio, hopped into his car, and started heading down the road. Unfortunately, he ran a red light and got decapitated. That's, that's fucking awful. But Brian Epstein knew that it would be critical to make sure that the masses, the population, did not know about this. He figured that they just couldn't handle, again, they were just so beloved that he, they couldn't handle his death. So he, Epstein, went ahead and talked to the Secret Service for UK, and they partnered up and they got a lookalike contest to happen, and there they found William Campbell. He was an orphan and they transformed him into the new Paul McCartney. Now take a look at these photos, they look so similar. He looks just like him. Just because Brian Epstein, again the band's manager, wanted this, didn't mean the band wanted this. And so throughout the years, they actually put hints inside of their songs and into their albums. We're gonna talk about a couple ones that are like super, super hinty. First, the song Strawberry Fields Forever. At the very end of the song, there's about a minute. And that last minute is just instrumentals, which is like, it's, it's beautiful. It's really nice to listen to. But in the last few seconds, they say, I buried Paul. Just those simple words, I buried Paul. <laughs> Now it is very quiet, and again, it's a huge instrumental, so nobody really pays attention at the very end. So my camera died, so we're gonna continue on, but this is on my phone while the battery's charged because we have a busy, busy schedule today. Anyways, so the biggest hints are actually on the album cover, Abbey Road. I actually have this album hanging on my wall. Check it out. Oh wait, wrong, wrong one, wrong one. There it is. That's the album, which is ridiculous. But there's a few hints on this album, so let's break it down. The first hint is the funeral procession. In the front, there's John Lennon dressed in all white. He is signifying that he is God. Behind him is the Undertaker, all dressed in black, Ringo Starr. The third, barefooted, out of step, is the corpse. Technically, it's William Campbell, but again, it's Paul. And then finally, the grave digger at the very end, George all in denim. Now, if you look at the white beetle in the back and you look at the license plate, that says, now, if you take the back of it, it says 28 if, that signifies Paul would be 28 if he was still alive. And then the LMW is Linda McCartney weeps at his wife, just sitting there in the back of the license plate. And if that isn't enough, Paul, in his right hand, is holding a cigarette, telling all of their fans, hey, you know Paul's left-handed. Why is he holding a cigarette in his right hand? Just showing the fans secretly that he's actually deceased. Now, there are many other hints throughout their songs, but those were the two really, really just in-your-face examples. And this shows that Ringo Starr is actually the only surviving member of the Beatles today. I believe he's 82. Except all that is ludicrous. Well, not all of it, but most of it, right? So first of all, the Strawberry Fields, if you actually listen to it, I'll play it up right now. Um, it actually says cranberry sauce. 
not Paul is dead, or I buried Paul. The cigarette, when I smoke a cigar or a cigarette or whatnot, right, it's in my left hand. As a righty, it's in my left hand because I light it, and then it stays in my left hand, and I can continue using my right hand for whatnot. So him being a lefty holding it in his right hand, that's completely normal. And for his license plate, he wasn't actually 28 when that was there. He was actually 27. And as for the letters, Linda did become his wife, but not at this time. So she wasn't Linda McCartney, so LM doesn't mean anything. It probably was just parked there. So that's it for this week's of Conspiracy Saturday. Come back next week, check out our other videos. They're pretty great. And I just wanna say, spread love, hope, enjoy. I miss you guys so much and praise that Paul is still alive. And I, I really can't believe this has been a huge thing. It was, it came out in the 60s and 70s as a big conspiracy. And like they didn't have the internet, but come on, y'all weren't dumb. Just, it hurts my soul. Peace.